We are at the beginning, the very start of the awakening of AI. And it's just going to get more crazy from here. I am 100% sure that there are going to be so many more of these scams happening in the next year, maybe in the next few months, with how fast technology and AI is going, we could see another one of these happen tomorrow. But it's not going to be as messy as this was. The Willy Wonka whole entire situation is just mind-blowing because not only did over 800 people, parents, have to buy tickets after seeing the posters being presented to the public by whoever was advertising this event. They had to see that gibberish on that poster and say, hey, I want to buy a ticket worth $40 for that. Okay, we had to get through that. Then we had to have actors read the scripts they were given for their roles for this event. The script was 15 pages, monologue, pretty much, of AI-generated gibberish. So I'll give you one of the lines from the script. Uh, I'm not going to do the Willy Wonka voice because I think I've embarrassed myself enough uh, over the last few days. Um, but one of my favorite lines was, there is a man who lives here. His name is not known. So we call him the unknown. The unknown is an evil chocolate maker who lives in the walls. They had to read the script and say, yes, I want to be a part of this event. People setting up this event had to put out the one lollipop, the one, I don't know even what they had, the one freaking colorful curtain or whatever. They had to put those decorations up and step back. Look at everything, all the emptiness, and say, yeah, I think we're good. This event is going to be good. And open the doors to the public. There are just so many steps that had to have happened. So many people have had to been presented this idea before it even happened for it to get to the place that it was. And I think that's why it's just so comical at this point. I hope everyone gets their money back. I really do. But it's just so comical when you're not in that situation to look at it and to think at how many people have had to see this before it occurred. To let it happen. It's just... It's just wild. You can't deny that this event was planned 100% on ChatGBT. Like, I'm pretty sure I want to know what the prompts were. I really do. To get what they got. The unknown or whatever that mysterious ch chocolate factory maker was that's hiding in the walls. Like, what was the thought process in creating this character? Because someone had to cre had to think of that, right? To add into that prompt in ChatGPT to get the character. But I'm like, what, what happened? Either it was all him and he wanted to see how much money he could make. But, like, it makes no sense because why would you hold this event and have it set up in such a low 
quality. Like, how can you have this idea and have it done in such a low quality and expect to not have it blow up in your face. I don't understand what the aim was. Was it that this was a legitimate idea that someone had and ended up having a very low budget? And and I just... <laughs> I, it doesn't make any sense. Any scenario I can put through my head of what happened. Maybe he like hired a different company and said, here's my budget, make this happen. And like put everything on this company and they saw the budget and were like, we can't really do anything with this. So with the space we have, with the budget we have, chat GPT. And whatever it pops up, the first option, we won't even correct what comes out. We'll just put the prompt in. First first option, we don't even have the time to waste on fixing ChatGPT's first version. That's what they did. And there was no correction. And wh- I just, the scripts, like I can't, the scripts, the posters, the freaking gibberish all over this event someone saw that and posted it and the fact that over 800 people still bought a ticket to this event i i can't it's so difficult to comprehend I don't, I don't know. It's pretty amazing. I mean, this whole situation, thankfully, was recorded because we have video of what it looked like, right? We have videos, pictures. We have videos and pictures of the characters, the actors, which I really do hope they end up getting paid because goddamn. We have videos of the experience people had going into this event. Statements from the person who thought up this magical event. We have statements from the actors. The guy who played Willy Wonka, a character based off of Willy Wonka, Um, When the Oompa Loompas, she seemed really nice. Someone said that uh, she was actually trying to perform and make it enjoyable for the kids that were there. Bless her soul. All of these questions I have about what happened. Who the fuck was behind this? What's the guy's name? Because I I know it was going to be a guy. Or maybe it could be a kid because I could imagine that a freaking 10 year old was at school daydreaming, right? Like you do in class. And you're like, how can I get out of here? I know what I'm going to do. I need a quick get rich scheme. How can I do this? Types into chat GPT. Give me a list of 10 ways to get rich quick. And for some reason, Willy Wonka, Chocolate Factory, Extravaganza gets pulled into this list and the kid goes, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And just uses ChatGPT to create everything you need. That's, I mean, really the only way that I can see how this went down. like. I'm just, I'm so freaking confused. So I wanted to look up who this guy was. And the man behind the experience was the House of Illuminati director, Billy Cole. So it says in this article, 
The event was organized by the House of Illuminati, an experience company with a London address, according to the advertisement and its website. I wonder if the website is ChatGPT created as well. The company shared on its Facebook page on Wednesday in a post that was no longer visible Thursday, oh boy, that it understood the cancellation of something that was supposed to be an artist rendition of a well-known novel has caused disappointment, frustration, and anger. Okay, so this is the quote. The process of giving your money back has already started as a number of people can confirm. Where are those people? The company wrote, the intention was to genuinely create something special for you that didn't work out. Yeah, it it didn't work out. That's like what you say when a two-week relationship with someone ends and you're telling your friend over dinner, like, oh yeah, that just didn't work out. So casual. So the article continues and it says, on Monday, the company shared a screenshot showing 850 refunds. 850 refunds issued with a message that began, today has been a very stressful and frustrating day for many, and for that we are truly sorry. The message and the screenshot were also no longer visible on Thursday. Why delete it? Did they just, is that their way of like trying to sweep it on under the rug of like for future people interested in their events so that they don't see that? <sighs> okay, so I guess this is Billy Cole's official Instagram. You could see the books that I guess he has on Amazon. Meet Billy Cole, the enigmatic wordsmith from Glasgow, Scotland. Billy crafts captivating mysteries and gripping conspiracies. Threads of enigma. That definitely looks AI generated. Billy Cole selling innocence. Interesting kind of a nice picture yeah let's check out his website it's probably shut down if I was him I would, I would shut down everything what billycole.com doesn't exist Oh, goodness. Okay, well, that's a bummer. I really wanted to see what he had to say on his wonderful website. What the heck? So many articles I'm finding. It's crazy. All right, so we have the Rolling Stone. Huckster behind Willy Wonka event also sells AI written vaccine conspiracy books. Wow. What the hell? I mean, from the pictures, you gotta say it does look like great, right? Tickets to Willie's <laughs> Tickets to Willie's Chocolate Experience are on sale now. That's so stupid. Enchanted Garden. Wait, can I zoom in? Your journey begins in an enchanted garden with giant sweets, vibrant blooms, mis mysterious looking sculptures, and magical surprises that add an extra layer of wonder to your chocolatey chocolatey experience. Navigate through peculiar but enchanting garden. Huh? 
navigate through peculiar but enchanting garden collect that's supposed to be navigating navigate through a peculiar but enchanting garden collecting delicious beans of all colors oh yeah that's like one of the best parts too each child was supposed to only get one jelly bean the actor who played uh willy willy wonka was told to give each child one jelly bean so this poster says you're going through a garden collecting delicious beans of all colors shapes and sizes ridiculous wait i want to see about oh that's his book um 16 books wow Huh. <laughs> the synopses for each book is AI generated. Wow. I mean, that's what you get with the rise of AI right now. You're going to get so many of these. It is just starting, guys. It is just starting. So grab your popcorn, sit back. And watch the show because it's it's really just starting. I want to see about the... Oh, here we go. Billy Cole. Surprised he put his actual face out. So, Operation Inoculation. Classified by Billy Cole. Unveiling the A conspiration... Wait. Unveiling the a consp conspiratorial conspiratorial oh my god I'm questioning my life right now <laughs> Operation Inoculation Unveiling the A Conspiratorial Journey into Vaccination Truth Deep state conspiracy. That makes no fucking sense. <laughs> A conspiratorial journey into vaccination truths. It's a thought-provoking novel that plunges readers into a world where truth, deception, and hidden agendas collide. My God, it gets fucking better. Within the pages of this suspenseful tale, readers embark on a thrilling adventure alongside Sarah, a Sarah, a determined protagonist driven by an unyielding desire to uncover the secrets behind Operation Inoculation. What the fuck is that? Oh my God, as Sarah delves deep delves deeper into her investigation, the carefully constructed facade of the vaccination campaign begins to crumble. She uncovers a web of intrigue with powerful forces manipulating information and manipulating public perception for their own gain. The stakes rise as Sarah encounters whistleblowers, navigates through layers of deception, and confronts the hidden truths that lie at the heart of the conspiracy. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my god. Yeah, those are all my thoughts. So let me know what you think of this whole situation. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Wondering if someone could help me. I've got my contract here. And I'm not very good with legal speak, so I was hoping someone could help me interpret this. Um, but under pay, uh, in the small print there, it, it says, um, You get nothing! You lose! Good day, sir! So if someone could just let me know what that means, I'd, I'd really appreciate it. I'm, I'm not a lawyer, so thank you.